Hi wonderful audience. It's another beautiful day here. It's warm. No, not warm, it's hot actually. And I had decided not to make any recordings with my phone uh, because of audio problems I've had with it. Audio has always turned out to be low on uh, most of most occasions recently. And I didn't like um, the wait time to edit the audio and make it uh, loud enough before publishing. But I'm here sitting in the car waiting for my son to finish from uh, his activity before I go pick him up and go back home. And I said, why waste time sitting here? I could spend this time, as the scripture says, redeeming the times. That the times are evil. Uh, we should redeem those times. So I'm, I choose to redeem the time now, trusting that today's recording will be audible enough. And I'm going to spend a little time talking about what Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. He says, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. You see that acronym? Ask, A-S-K. I, I look at it this way. A for ask, S for seek, and K for knock, forming ask. And he says, ask and you shall receive. He's not suggesting that if you ask, you may receive or some may receive. He says actually that everyone that asks, receives. So have we seen people that asked and at the end of the day, they didn't receive? Did Jesus lie there? We've definitely seen people that asked and it seemed as if they didn't receive. But Jesus is saying, ask and you shall receive. For everyone that asketh, receive it. That is, he's telling you the mind of the Father. So basically he's saying that if you ask, you have received. That's why he said in Mark eleven twenty three and 24, basically in 24, it says, therefore I say unto you, therefore whosoever shall, what, what things soever you desire, when ye pray, believe that you have received. When you pray and you are asking for something, he's telling you, believe you've received. And remember, he says, ask and you shall receive. So he's tying the two together because he cannot lie. He's saying that when you asked, it was given to you so that you should believe that you received. Not that you will receive. That you received for everyone that asked receive it not a few people not some people everyone that asked receive it have you received when you asked he's saying that you have so I, I give you an instance he says that if you are prayed for you pray for healing for let's say you have an injured foot and you pray for healing he says when you ask for healing for that foot that you receive, not may receive. And then in Mark 11, 24, he's telling you that believe that you have received. So in essence, he's saying believe me. Believe me that I said when you asked in uh, Matthew 7, 7, that as you asked, you will receive. Or in essence, that you have received. Believe me. Once you believe me, then... You're giving the angels the opportunity to see to it that it comes to pass. Now, if you believe me that you have received, you act as if you believe me. If you came to me and asked me to give you, let's say, um, to give you permission to go use my car. And I told you, oh, go ahead. If you stay there still asking me or you still keep hanging out, waiting for something or in anticipation of me giving you the car, giving you permission to use the car. You're telling me you didn't believe me. But if you just, as soon as I tell you, uh, yeah, you can use it, you say thank you, and you go out in search of the keys to go use the car, you, you're showing that you believe me. But if you hang around, you're showing you don't believe me. If you stay asking me over and over again, and you're telling me that you didn't believe me, that when I told you, you didn't believe me. He says, ask. And you shall receive. Then he says that when you when you ask, believe that you have received. 
Why do you believe? Because the one that is granting you, that is telling you that he has given you, he did not lie. So what is it that you're asking God for? He's saying, believe that you have received. That once you believe you have received it, it's done. Those angelic beings will see to it that it manifests itself. And they, uh, will I say, the the more convinced, more uh, that's from the depth of your heart, if there's no room for you to waver, that there's no room for you to imagine that it's not been given to you, that's how fast its manifestation will be. But if you're, if you there wondering, uh, not that is your, you don't leave there immediately with the belief that, oh, I've, 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 I've taken it, I've gotten it. Then that's when it takes time for it to get manifest. He says, ask, ask. He says, you receive not because you ask not. You get it? You receive not because you ask not. So if you don't ask, you will not receive. I know that there's, there's certain philosophies that go by and say, you should not ask for certain things. You shouldn't ask for this. You shouldn't ask for that. Matthew 7, Matthew 7, 7 did not restrict your asking to anything. He gave you a blank check. It says, ask and you shall receive. Not me shall receive. That is, he's giving you a guarantee. Jesus, the Son of God, is telling you that when you ask, you receive. Because everyone that asks, receives. Are you part of everyone? Or, you are, or are you no one? If you ask, you will receive. It's, there's a guarantee. And if it seems as if it is not coming, tell it that it must come because Jesus said so. It's, and he says that things must obey you. Tell it. Press it. Say, no, 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 no. Jesus said that I, when I ask, I will receive. So I've asked. That means I have received. I believe I have received. So you make yourself available here now. I have received. I asked for it. And I've received it. So I don't take no for an answer. I refuse to accept things in the contrary. Whether I have seen it or not is immaterial. It is based on what Jesus said. And I believe what Jesus said as opposed to what I see. What I see must change to what Jesus said. Because Jesus, in to all intents and purposes according to scripture, made everything that I can see. So if he said it, the same way he said, let there be light and there was light. It's the same way he said that if I ask, I will receive for everyone that asks it, receive it. So this too must come to pass just as he said. Light didn't argue with, it, with him when he says, let there be light. No. Light came. Light was. So the same way that if I ask for healing, in accordance with, you see, he, he actually said that he paid for my sickness and carried my pains. So if I ask for it, oh, oh that is already purchased for me. I want it now. I have received it. it. Says for everyone that asked it, receive it. He was. He didn't just wake up from sleep drowsy when he said those things. Every word he said, he meant. Every statement he made, he made them because he said that whatever he uttered from his mouth was what he heard his father say. So he was speaking the mind of God the Father. So the God heard ordered everything that came out of Jesus' mouth. So when Jesus uttered Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, it was coming from Almighty God Himself. You get what I'm saying? He didn't mean words. He said exactly what He wanted to say. It was, I noticed those words were not what people thought He said. Those were actually recorded words of what He said, as opposed to certain things in Scripture that where one could say, oh, th this person thought this. Yes, it's in scripture. It's in the Bible, but it is not uh, doctrinal. It could be like uh, when uh, Moses went to ask Pharaoh to, for them to be released. And Moses and Pharaoh said, the, the, the day you see me again, the day you see my face again, you shall surely die. You can't take that as scriptural because that was Pharaoh speaking. And that was not, from, that was not the counsel of God. It was rather it was Pharaoh that died when he saw Moses again at the Red Sea. Praise God. But this one was a direct quotation from the master himself. Ask and you shall receive. So when I ask, 
I believe I have received because Jesus said so. That should be your mindset. Whenever you ask, believe that you have taken it. Believe it. If it says, if it wants to argue with you, tell it. If you are permitted to scream at it. Shut up! Jesus said so. That when I ask, I have received. So you get out of my way. I have received. I believe I have received. I believe I have taken it. It's mine. And I will not permit myself to be deprived. Or I will not permit anyone to deprive me of it. I, have, I believe I have received. You are not busy telling that to any physical being. You are saying that to spirit beings. You are saying that out into the spirit realm. And it's those spirit beings, the angelic beings, that will see to it that it is manifest here on earth. And you bring glory to your father. It says, herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit. And the fruit he's talking about is prayer fruit. You've asked. What you asked has manifested itself. That brings glory to God. Glory to that's uh, actually that's what Jesus said that brings glory to God that when you ask for things and they become manifest that is a miracle is made a sequel to your asking you bring glory to your father blessed be the name of the most high God God bless you guys